What's going on guys? So we are still out here at ROA Off-Road at their Experience Center just south of Salt Lake City, Utah, taking a look at some really amazing off-road campers. I mean, these things are super, super cool. And you know, if you're gonna end a series on off-road campers, the very best one you could probably end it on is the one I'm about to show you. Guys, hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so once again, I have my, my new good friend Josh here with me, and he is an employee here at ROA Off-Road. Uh, he is an expert in these Patriot campers, and Patriot is the, the cream of the cream. It is the best of the best when it comes to off-road campers. At least that's what I'm being told. Yes. Would you agree? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I had an opportunity in the last video to show you guys this X1 over here, which is super cool. And he mentioned the kitchen, but we already had the kitchen out. And I think it's important to see what it looks like stowed and then the process of opening up this massive kitchen that just looks like this gourmet cooking area for anybody who's gonna roast up some uh, some alligator or crocodile or, or whatever they have with them. All okay. right, we are. So uh, one of the things that's right off the bat that's going to be a little unique about the X3 is that we actually have probably close to about 12 inches of additional counter space. So the X1 body is actually um, shorter and so this is uh, shorter on the X1 than it is in the X3. So basically all of this portion is extra. So this is much longer in the X3 than it is in the X1. And then also something that's pretty cool is that the X3 also has a larger capacity for the fridge. Gotcha. So in the X1, it can hold the CFX 55. In the X3, it can hold the CFX 75. So larger fridge, larger kitchen area, larger fridge. But this is what we're gonna be looking at. Wow. Okay. So here we go, once again, if we have the awning up, we've got our stove right here that we can be cooking with. If you had, you know, a wok that you wanted to plug in, we could do that, run the wok on our inverter right here. If you weren't gonna be using the stove top, you had a, a pressure cooker that you wanted to use right here. We have so much counter space. Yeah. That is very unique that we just can't get out of so many other trailers. And you know what? With the awning stowed, so we showed you the awning out on that right. one. I'm just gonna walk there real quick so you can see. So this is the one we showed you in the last video with the awning out in the smaller kitchen. And then on the X3, the awning is stowed. It, it's really two completely different feeling environments, right? When it's stowed, you just feel like you are really out there in the open and it's, it's really cool. It's a very open, airy feel to it. It is, it is. And brighter. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you don't want to set it up, you know, you certainly don't have to. Now, uh, the X3 is probably one of their most popular units. Now I'm gonna show you the front first, sure. and then I'll show you why it's one of the most popular. So here we're gonna be able to actually see the, uh, the barbecue inside. Very cool. So if um, it's different cooking on a barbecue than it is on yeah, like a, a burger, cooktop, yeah. Right, It's that's just a different, for burgers, your dogs, steak. Yeah, totally different, different experience. Right? So it is nice to have an actual barbecue inside of the trailer that we yeah. can utilize, right? But what makes this trailer most unique of the entire Patriot unit is that we can walk inside of the trailer. So. We can uh, go ahead and walk inside and... Wow. Talk about space. So this is one, um, the X3, that once again, towable by a Jeep, but there's not many that you can go in and stand up inside of. You know, yeah, really, no, really right. cool. This, this nice couch area that we have, and behind you we have this, uh, this table that can pop up if you guys it's raining outside you know we can set this up and you have a nice table to eat at mm -hmm. inside of the trailer and then also they've very in, they're very thoughtful in their design so when the when the fridge is inside i can actually oh, wow. access yeah, cool. my fridge so if i've got to get a drink in the middle of the night you know 
Um, this right here is actually where um, a coffee lift will go. If you don't have a coffee lift installed in there, that just becomes storage for a lot of people. Gotcha. Okay. And then right here, we have a, um, a power station yeah. that we have access to inside of the trailer. Um, so this is definitely one of the most sought after of Patriot units because of this ability that people want to be able to walk inside and stand up inside of and also that it's a hard top. Mm -hmm. So this this bed portion right here, which it's up right now, it looks like. Um, this underneath is all a hard top. So when it closes up, you know, aesthetically it looks different. Yeah. When you have a hard top on top of your trailer versus the soft top, and so that's something else that's really appealing. Um, yeah, and you're off the ground, which is nice yeah, too. Yeah. Once again, off the ground. But this is the Patriot X3. Now oh, this thing is super, super nice. So it's a little bit longer than the other one, but does that limit in any way its off-road capabilities because of its its clearances and No, angles? no, it doesn't. Um, now, one thing that they've done to actually offset, uh, I actually think that the total length is actually very similar. Okay. And the reason that that is, is because the tire that's mounted on the rear uh -huh. of the trailer is now mounted underneath. underneath. I saw that. I saw the spare tire right underneath here so when they, we were in the Once front. again, this is because of their dedication to having the most extreme off-road trailers. They don't want to compromise that. And every inch that the trailer goes longer, inevitably it becomes less capable off-road. It doesn't matter what the suspension is, how it's built, blah, blah, blah. The yep. longer your trailer gets, yep. the less off-road capable it is. And there's no argument that can be said about that and so patriot knowing that they've because the trailer is extended they've taken the tire and mounted it underneath very cool so i know we looked at in the previous one but let's hop out and take a look at the suspension on this one again yeah yeah so it's storage that's actually accessible from inside of the trailer okay so i was just asking so what is this exactly and can you open that real quick yeah so this is just a pass-through storage that if there is oh, wow clothes or anything like that gear um all of this is actually accessible inside underneath the couch you can just lift up the couch and get access to all of this very cool and i see another little hatch over here on the side is that kind of similar storage as well um this one's just a small storage area they're just trying to take advantage of any space possible yeah no absolutely and we'll take a look at those in a second i want to look at the suspension again because again one of the big big value points of a patriot is what they do with their suspension yeah all right so i'll let him re-explain what's going on here with the suspension yeah so we have the x cruise suspension from cruise master which is um special made just for patriot Cruise Master is widely considered to be one of the best independent suspensions in the entire world with airbags and dual shock and dual shocks. So um, the advantage to having airbags is the ability to level the trailer left to right. It's a very soft suspension, which makes it great for off-roading, but also the ability to give you a few extra inches if you ever need to on those really tough obstacles. Very, very cool. Yeah, definitely like looking at some of those components because you can see when you have all of these off-road RVs next to each other, the different engineering and mentality that's went into the suspension. And some of them, you know, using Timberin, some of them using uh, this type of suspension, but not this exact suspension. Some using airbags that can go up 12 inches. I mean, it's, it's really interesting to see how manufacturers approach this differently. Yeah, and where they prioritize, you know, investing in. Yep, right? absolutely. Let's come around to this side. So over here, um, this right here is, is pretty fun. They have um, a second entrance. So over there, we had that main door that we went through to get inside the trailer. Over here, so let's say you have, um, you put a kid to bed inside on their extra kid bunk that you can option out. And uh, you've been out at the campfire, it's 12 o'clock at night and you wanna come in, but you don't wanna wake up your kid, you have a second entry oh, that yeah. allows you to get into the trailer. So this all opens up and you can climb in via this ladder, which also doubles as a stabilizer 
for the X3. That's very cool, very thoughtful. Yes, and, and once again, like, this is now a giant window that you have available to you inside of the trailer. Yep, super cool. Let's take a look at some of the storage down here if that's okay. Yeah, so one is very similar to the X1. What we have is just large storage compartments that are available here. Slide and, out tray. Yep. Very, very cool. I see a couple breakers back there. Yep. They got a propane tank. This is not a traditional size propane tank, I've noticed. That is correct. Yep. So, um, I can't actually remember the exact uh, amount of 10 pound tanks, I believe. Yeah, it's a relatively small tank. Which is why having um, the additional gas bottle holder is a very common upgrade. It comes standard with one. And then you, you have a second option. one here. Yes, that's correct. And do you guys sell the extra gas bottle if somebody wants it? Absolutely. Perfect. Yep. Now this front frame section is pretty insane. They have the fully articulating hitch up front. Yes. And you know, Shane was telling me yesterday, there's a few criteria that define the minimum requirements for an off-road camper. Yeah. One of them being an articulating hitch. Yes. One of them being independent suspension. Yes. And the last one being locking cabinets. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, well, this certainly has all of those things. Those things. Now, what you will see here, this is a hot dip galvanized frame, which is uh, pretty consistent with uh, Australian off-road trailers. Um, so it's essentially weatherproof. There's no Very amount good. of salt or hot and cold that's going to, you know, really affect this frame here. And to your point, um, you know, this is the Cruise Master Do 35 hitch. Now. What we are used to in the United States is this guy right here. Seven-way. This, yeah. this seven-pin connection, right? Now, what is a little unique for a lot of people in America is this guy right here. This is an Anderson mm -hmm. connection. Now, this is standard in Australia. Um, and the reason for that, well, there's a lot, but the Anderson plug has a much greater capacity for charging in tow where you might get three to five amps out of something like this you're going to get probably around yeah. 30 out of something like an anderson plug can i make a guess yes i'm going to guess that this has dc to dc charging through red arc on board yes all right i just had to say that because i met the guys at red arc yeah and they told me hey we partner with patriot we put yeah. our equipment in there and just the gauge of wiring here i can see that this <laughs> utilizes the vehicle battery and alternator to go through a red arc a dc to dc charger to charge your house battery yeah the, the the thing is though uh in the united states this is not standard for us yeah. so you're going to want to take your tow vehicle to an overland shop to have it modified for an Anderson plug on the rear to be able to take advantage of something yep. like that. And they'll have to run some thick wire from your battery all yep. the way to the back. Exactly. Very cool. Well, Josh, once again, I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Super, super cool setup. I absolutely get it. I understand why Patriot is is considered the best of the best. Um, our normal ranking one to 10, I would still assume because where they remounted the tire without any yeah. affecting the breakover angle on this thing, I, I'd still probably say this is a 10, right? Absolutely. Yep, and uh, price-wise, we mentioned in the other video, but yeah. what can someone expect to pay for something like this, uh, both in the base configuration as well as loaded up? Base configuration, you're probably gonna be around 60,000. Okay. Again, that might ebb and flow a tiny bit. Uh, once you're fully loaded, you're going to be closer to about 70000 Absolutely. Well, you pay for quality. That's yes. what it comes down to. I hate to say it to folks who are like, that's way too expensive. That's way out of my budget. But the reality is, is everybody comments that I'm willing to pay more if I get more. This is a prime example. And part of it is because, of course, they are building these in Australia and having yeah. to ship them here. There's cost associated with that as well. But super, super nice unit. Really, really appreciate it. Um, YouTube channel. Uh, RVs of America or ROA Off-Road. Absolutely. Definitely go check them out because the reason why you see some dirt on this unit is because this is probably a unit they've taken out <laughs> several is. times. It is. Uh, yeah, so they live and breathe this. They don't just sell them. They don't just support them. They take them out and use them, and they have some crazy, crazy videos. So definitely check out their YouTube channel. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment. Subscribe to both channels. Give us both a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.